As a country, traditionally, we have disposed of a lot of our waste by digging holes in the ground and putting it in there. Now, that's not a very sustainable thing to do. This process, however, converts that solid waste that we couldn't otherwise do anything with and converts it to a gas that helps us to decarbonise our heat. The pilot plant came about following a feasibility study that we did back in 2010. It's been a big success. It's demonstrated that you can take black bag waste, you can process it, and you can produce a, a renewable gas which is chemically identical to the gas that's currently in the pipelines. We use household waste rather than the waste that's used in anaerobic digestion, which would be slurries and uh, source segregated food waste. So we can take a very much wider waste and turn all of that material into gas. The product that we've created, we can inject into the gas grid to use in our homes or also to sell to heavy goods vehicle operators to fuel their transport vehicles. Power tenors are working in close partnership with APP to the extent where we're assisting them bringing their recycled material into, this, into their recycling centre in Swindon for them to then generate gas, pump into the grid and for us to draw from our Swindon refuelling centre. Taking a new technology through to market is an important process. We've built the pilot plant and now we're looking to build a commercial plant. It'll run 24-7 plant itself will be processing around 10 times as much waste in comparison to the pilot plant. The commercial plant will take 10,000 tonnes per annum of locally produced refuse-derived fuel from Swindon Council and it will turn it into sufficient bio-SNG, renewable gas, to heat up to 1,500 houses or alternatively to, to fuel 75 heavy goods vehicles. The opportunity for the technology both in the UK and overseas is, is enormous. There are huge quantities of black bag waste and those quantities are growing. We estimate based on information from the Committee for Climate Change that there is sufficient resource here in the UK to create around 100 terawatt hours of renewable gas from this process along with anaerobic digestion. Together that would equate to around a third of our UK domestic gas demand. What we hope for the future is that this will be the first of a pipeline of large-scale bio-SNG projects that will be rolled out across the country so that we will get up to this 100 terawatt hour per annum target figure that we have and that will then make a significant contribution to fueling the nation's heating demand.